Okay, so for our activity today, I'll be we'll be creating a, a class. <clears throat> so what I did here is first we try to create a new project. So I call it my array list demo. So we have the main here. I will explain the code here later. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I created a class. So I'm going to call my class my array list. And I have here inside my array list is an array. So instead of integer, float, or string, I use object. That is uh, because I would like my array list to be working on um, maybe almost any data type, whether it's a string, integer, or float. And I have here the number of elements. So my maximum is 100. So we can get, so we have here a getter uh, element that will get the number of elements. And then if you want to add values to the array, so we have to know first if the number of elements is lesser than 100. That means because that's our limit. So if the number of elements is lesser than 100, so ARR index number of elements is equal to the object. So we're going to enter any object. So again, it can be an integer or a string. And then, <coughs> excuse. So we add one to the number of elements. So that's how we add. So we do that until the time that we reach the limit. Then to display, so we have here a simple display, and but we'll be uh, maybe revising this later. But for now, we'll be doing this. So this will just loop from zero to the number of elements. And that is if we have elements, that element is greater than zero. Because if it is zero, that means it is empty. We don't have to display anything. So if we have elements, so we loop from zero to the number of elements, and then we just print the array index by i. So let's display. Then we have here now sorting. So we already know how to sort. So we have swapping that will determine if there's still swapping. And then we have the temporary variable. Again, the temporary variable is of the type object. Then integer i will put our, our loop. So while there is swapping done, we keep on comparing the two uh, adjacent elements, yung magkatabi. So we'll be trying to look at them if they, have, uh, they are on the proper order. But here, we have a problem that because strings, we cannot use the greater than or lesser than for strings since string is not actually a primitive data type. So since it is not a primitive data type, we're going to use method to compare strings, not like integers or flow, etc. So here, we first try to know if the array get class is primitive. So if it is primitive, then we'll be using this comparison. So that means it is an integer or float or double, so we can use this comparison. So we loop up to the number of elements minus one. We compare the adjacent elements. That's why we have i and i plus one. So if the first one is greater than the next, then it is not in the proper order, especially if we are arranging from lowest to highest. So it should be that the first one should be lower than the next one if it is uh, from lowest to highest. So if not, then we actually swap their values. So this is swapping <coughs> element of the first element to the temporary, second element to the original location of the first element and the temporary value to the location of the second element. So we have interchanged their values. Since they're swapping done, we change swap to one. So we do that until the time that there will be no more swapping. That's why we reset swapping to zero every time we start with a loop, with this while loop. So that if, let's say, we pass through this and it did not pass through this uh, statement, then that means that the array is already sorted. However, what if it is not primitive? So if it is not primitive, almost the same, but this is our comparison. So if it is not primitive, then maybe this is string. So how do we compare string? We use the 
method compared to ignore case. So ARI string is compared to ARI plus one to string. Now, if it is that if that is greater than zero, then that means that the first element is higher than the next element. If it is lesser than zero, that's lower or equal to zero. That they are that means they are equal. So we place it greater than zero, then we the same. We actually swap their places. And that's it. So we have now sorted the array. <clears throat> so let's try to demonstrate. So what will this program do? So this, this program or will this program do is to create an instance of the my array list. And then we add try to add values. So we have the add method. So we have m that add five three one two four. So I have four uh, five elements. So m that display this will display the elements. M that sort then it will sort the elements. Then I have here a <clears throat> some sort of a separator. Then again display them. So that means that the next display should be these values sorted. So let's try to run the program. So let's try to check. So that's our output. So we have here, in, originally we have 5, 3, 1, 2, 4. So after we sort, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is working. Now, again, why did we use object? So that we don't have to rewrite our code or we don't have to write a code for uh, float. We don't have to write a code for uh, string. So let's say let's try to have a float value. So to, for this to become float, we have to place F. So I have for now five floating values. So if I run the program, let's try to check. Hmm. Did not sort. Do I have the flo correct floating values? Mm, so that means we have still problem with our sorting using hash code. Okay, but anyway, this is just an activity. So just try this. Let's try string. I don't know what is our problem. I think it's because hash code has something to do with the length. Let's just try if there's something wrong with sorting. If there's something wrong with sorting, then we will skip that first. So this is totally an unrehearsed video. So I want to have different lengths. Okay, so let's try to run this program. So C A B B C A C D then it from A B C E. So I think the string is running all right. So I think the problem is with hash code. I think hash code has something to do with length. Okay, so we can use a string. How about Let's go back to integers with different lengths. Okay, let's set run the program. So uh, it is only looking at the first value. 
So it is treating them as strings. If ARR, what if I place ARR? Let's get glass. Okay, so I think this might be it. <laughs> Let's run the program. Oh, why do you have error? Anyway, so that so that will not waste time. So for your activity, I would like you to add search algorithm. Anyway, for search we just compare. So we also use compare. Uh, maybe almost similar to this. So we also have a search algorithm and other methods that you will uh, think of. But we will try to fix this if it is fixable. <laughs> It is uh, later, okay? So that will be for your activity for today. Thank you very much.